the MediaPipe Image Embedder task lets you create a numeric representation of an image, which is useful in accomplishing various ML-based image tasks. Embedding is frequently used to compare the similarity of two images using mathematical comparison techniques, such as cosine similarity. Cosine similarity measures the similarity of two non-zero vectors using the dot product of the vectors divided by the product of their length. Its value is between negative one and one, with values close to negative one being the most dissimilar and values close to one being the most similar. So if we take two images and compare their embeddings using cosine similarity, a bigger number means the images are more alike. The MediaPipe Solutions image embedding task operates on image data with a machine learning model as static data or a continuous stream and outputs a numeric representation of the image data as a list of high dimensional feature vectors, also known as embedding vectors, in either floating point or quantized form. There are APIs available for Android, Python, the web, and more to come. To get started using the image embedding task for the web, first, take a look at the available models. The recommended model uses a MobileNet v3 architecture and was trained using ImageNet data. ImageNet is a visual database of more than 14 million images designed for vision research use cases like object recognition. MobileNet v3 comes in two different sizes, small and large, to adapt the network to lower high resource use cases. Model options might change over time, so definitely check the docs for the latest details. Try this task out in MediaPy Studio to see it in action. You can also try out different configuration options so you can see everything the task can do. After choosing your model, you're ready to add MediaPipe solutions to your app. Start by installing the Tasks Vision package. You can download the package using NPM and use a JavaScript compilation tool like Webpack, or you can import the package using a CDN. MediaPipe for the web uses WebAssembly, or WASM, a binary instruction format for a stack-based VM. You don't need to understand WASM to use MediaPipe solutions for the web. Just know that WASM allows non-web-based code to run on the web. For the best user experience, you don't want to bundle your model or WASM binary into your website. Instead, store them server-side and provide links when initializing your image embedder. Let's take a look at how to initialize the embedder using example code. Here we have a function, create image embedder. First, we configure our WASM binary loading using the file set resolver for vision tasks method. Then we create the image embedder using the image embedder create from options method, passing the file set resolver you just created and the model. You can also provide optional parameters. Running mode is either image or video, depending on whether you're running embedding on images or videos. Image is the default value. To run image embedding on an image, use the image embedder dot embed method, passing the image source. This function is synchronous, which is good to keep in mind when designing your UI. The image source can be an HTML canvas element, HTML video element, HTML image element, image data, or image bitmap. The image embedder result has an embedding property in which you can find the float embedding as an array of float values. But rather than access the embeddings directly, you will likely be interested in the cosine similarity. Run image embedder dot embed on both of the images you want to compare, and then run the image embedder dot cosine similarity method, passing the first embedding of each embedding result. The similarity will be a number between negative one and one, indicating how alike the images are. To get the embeddings for frames of a video, get the current time using performance.now. Then get the image embedder result using the image embedder dot embed for video method, passing your video element and the current time. And that's it. With this code, you can get started with image embedding in your own web app. You can check out a complete code example on CodePen. You can also view all available solutions on the MediaPipe website or get hands-on with solutions in MediaPipe Studio. All these resources are linked in the video description. I love hearing from developers, so leave a comment and tell me what you're working on. 
what you learned and what you still want to know. I can't wait to see what you build.